um, is the is the um, is the violence in Islam and Christianity at Hyde Park. Now, I I only use one type of argument. Okay, I didn't have all the sources on it. It was something that was just slapped on me. The debate. I didn't even know it was going to happen. It just brought on me. So I didn't have all the all the information with me to 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 get into that discussion and debate. But I had one source and it was in depth. So that's all I had. So I just kept to the source and it was in depth. But if I had a chance to get my sources ready, I would have hit him with a variety of arguments and a variety of sources. Okay? And that makes it more difficult for the opponent. It makes it more difficult for your opponent to deal with. Now I'm not saying I'm clever, I'm not clever, I'm not saying I'm the best debater, I'm not the best debater. But having watched hundreds and hundreds of debates over the last eight or nine years, my advice is you go into the debate fearless, you rebut your opponent, you have a variety of arguments, every one of them's in depth, every one of them is you're ready to prepare to rebut your opponent when they come back at you and you 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 emphasize your points emphasize them and uh, i think uh, samuel green uh, debated adam adam rashid on the trinity and david wood debated and both of them did not robustly emphasize their points you have to be robust and emphasize and say this is the point and get it across but they're they're a bit weak and ineffectual and you need to be more vigorous in in your emphasis when you're emphasizing something in the in the debate so for example you could say uh well in john chapter 1 verse 1 1 to 3 it says that Jesus is God. Or you could say, in John chapter 1, verse 1 to 3, it says, it says now, it says now, it says, He is God. Do you see the difference? Muhammad Ijab played that game of emphasis and it came across stronger, whereas David Wood was a bit lackluster. And, and also uh, Samuel Green. These are my opinions. My now you might disagree. You might agree. Like I said, I'm not saying that Muhammad Hijab actually won the argument. He did not win the argument. Okay, he didn't win the argument. That's important. I'm just saying that he came across better. He came across that he won the debate. But it doesn't necessarily mean he gave a death blow to David Wood's arguments. David Wood made some good arguments, and some of those arguments, even after uh, Muhammad Hijab battered them, still stood. The poly polytheism argument of walking around the Kaaba and kissing the stone still stood. The, um, the, arg the biblical argument using the Bible still stood with David Wood. So he made some strong arguments and they still stood, even after a battering from Muhammad Hijab. So it, it, Muhammad Hijab didn't win the argument, but he came across better. And so it looked as if he won the argument. Okay. So th that's my point. I hope that's a help to you. And... Uh, You have to, when you go into a debate, you must master your sources. You must master your sources. You must read the early church fathers. You cannot go into a debate on the Trinity and not read the early church fathers and know them inside and out so that you can quote them and you can say whatever you need to say about the early church fathers. You master your sources. Uh, that's, that, that's a given. And uh, I don't think uh, Muhammad Hijab actually read the Ochish Fathers, but he'd been on a website that had given him a summary of a lot of the things that the Ochish Fathers said. 
But if you'd master your sources, you could have called him out on some of the quotations that he made. Okay. Okay, Th those are my thoughts. Please don't be offended, David Wood. I love you. I think you're a great debater. I think you're one, uh, one of the best debaters around. Uh, I think that this one it just wasn't your best. You were a bit too subdued. And your tactic of using the 11 arguments on the Quran was not wise. The same kind of argument was not wise. Unless you could pull out more emphasis on them and expound them more and get it more clearly across, it was not wise. Um, and also, you've got to know your opponent. Muhammad Ijab had done a lot of research, a lot of, a lot of research on David Wood. He'd done tons of research on David Wood. So he knew David Wood inside and out. I don't think David Wood had done the amount of research on Muhammad Ijab that Muhammad Ijab did on David Wood. When you're going into a debate, you must know your enemy. You must know your enemy. You must know your enemy. When I go into a debate, when I, when I go to Hyde Park, I have an idea who might tackle me on the topic. So I will watch their videos, I will research them, and I will find out all about them. And I will listen to them, I will think about what they have to say, and I will study them before I cross swords with them. You must know your enemy. You must study your opponent and see what he says or what they say. And know their strengths and know their weaknesses. And have an idea of what they're going to say. And have an idea of how you're going to respond. And David Wood, I don't think, had done the research on Muhammad Hijab as he should. If I was debating Muhammad Hijab, I would watch all his videos. I would make notes on all his videos. I would watch them again and again and again and again until I knew him inside and out. Before I entered the arena and had a one-on-one a -on -one debate with him. You must know your enemy. You must put in the hard work and study your enemy in debate. So, this is what came across to me, my, my thoughts, my passion on this issue. So I hope it's been a help to you. I hope we all learn from it. I hope we all go into the research that David and Muhammad Hijab brought up. And we all go into it. I thank David Wood and Muhammad Hijab for the debate that they had. The other thing as well is Muhammad Hijab called David Wood out on David Wood's behaviour. David Wood had been had made mockumentaries, mocking Islam. And that made Muhammad Hijab angry. Now, there's some there is hypocrisy here by Muhammad Hijab. Muhammad Hijab is a bit of a hypocrite. Muhammad Hijab you have not been good at Hyde Park. You have not been the perfect person. You have been disrespectful, controlling and manipulative at Hyde Park at, at times. I'm not saying all the time, but you have. The same with Ali Dawa and the same with the Dawa teams. You cannot say that you are perfect, pure, holier than thou. There has been many times of manipulation, intellectual grooming where you don't give... Uh, Christian opponents the fair opportunity to debate but you'll talk to young people and if you do talk to a Christian opponent you don't give them the same platform and courtesy that you have so there is hypocr hypocrisy from you Muhammad Hijab and the Dawa teams down at Hyde Park and saying that he's an Islamophobe um, you know I, I think that 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 was not called for. I think that I think that was disrespectful. But I can understand why you got angry, and I do think that that David Wood has to take note that mockumentaries is not the way to go. It's not the way to go, and it would only anger people, and it would only it would only alienate people. Uh, you have a great platform. You have a great ministry, and I would encourage you to learn from this situation, learn from this experience and I would encourage you to 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 focus 
on being you're a philosopher and focus on the serious scholarship like write a few books have more debates and continue to do your videos but continue to do it in a professional scholarly way because you've got a great platform and you're having a great impact but be a gentleman and do it in a very scholarly way and you continue to have a powerful impact so I hope people learn from this video I hope it's been a blessing to you I don't mean any offense to Mohammed Ijab or David Wood but this is how I saw the debate last night I was not encouraged by David Wood and uh, yeah so God bless you love to everybody and uh, be professional if you're going to debate people be scholarly know your enemy and work on some of the issues that I've said to all you apologists out there and Christian debaters work. and the other thing I want to say is you've got to be sound you've got to be sound and it it tires me and discourages me so much that a lot of these debaters sometimes are not sound I mean David Wood brought out the kenosis theory and I've heard people at Hyde Park bring out issues like saying that God was not involved in the inspiration of the history and things like that. Uh, read good theology. Read good theology. Go and read Calvin's Institutes. Go and read. Uh, go and read uh, good sound theology. L, uh, Dr. Raymond on systematic theology or something. But go and read sound theology because a lot of apologies today that are in apologetics. Uh, they're not sound. They're not as sound as they should be. A lot of them, like William Wayne Craig, Gary Habermas, who I love, Frank, Frank Turek, who I love, uh, a theistic evolutionist. That's not sound. Uh, Kenotic theory, uh, James White, uh, Matt Slick and, and um, David Wood. They're not sound. That's not sound. That is not sound theology. That is a 19th century invention and they should be wise when they're using these things that, that that's not good theology and they're supposed to be reformed they're supposed to be sound men and they're not so you've got to be sound you've got to study theology and be biblical and solid in your presentation so forgive me for this passion i'm passionate and i just saw the issues there and i hope that what i've said would be a help and a challenge to people a lot of information here, a lot of things to think about, discuss. I, I, I respect David Wood very, very highly, very, very highly. I respect him immensely. Uh, he's doing a mighty work and I respect you, brother. I, I love you, I respect you. You know, Mohammed Hichab, I think you, I think, you know, wolf in sheep's clothing. I think that you pretend to be something that you're not. I, I think that you got away with it in this debate uh, because you did your homework. You did you did your strategic homework, and it paid off. You didn't win the arguments, but you looked better in the debate. So there we are. God bless you. Love you all. And uh, this is going to be a. A video where lots of people are going to comment and discuss and just leave your comments discuss debate uh, everything that I've said uh, whether you're Muslim or Christian and, and get some dialogue going on the video and uh, get your debate discussion going Let, let's have a good discussion on this video and uh, if I've offended my brothers and sisters in Christ for saying what I've said I don't mean it I'm a hundred percent for Christ I'm a hundred percent for the gospel but this video is is really saying pull your bootstraps up as apologist put you know put put pull 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 your pants up and tighten up and, and get and, and be be better i'm not i'm not saying i'm the best i'm not the best i'm no way i'm not a better debater than david wood no i'm not saying that but i'm saying i i have eight years experience in in watching videos of hundreds of videos being in many discussions and debates and so i'm not the cleverest 
but I have a lot of experience and I'm passing on that experience to you all as Christians at Hyde Park and in your debates. Listen to some of the things I've said and uh, you know you, you, you'll, be, uh, you'll be helped. Have, a, have an understanding of uh, logical fallacies so you can point out your opponent's issues and problems as well. Okay, God bless you.